So we've seen how to calculate the chi-squared statistic. So where does that come in with the hypothesis test? So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the null and alternative hypothesis. Now what you're going to find is that the chi-squared uh, contingency table test has a very similar feel to the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient hypothesis test. So there is no uh, underlying population that we are talking about here. Uh, so we don't start off with let rho be the population correlation coefficient or anything like that. Our null and alternative hypotheses will be in words. Okay. So there is only one null hypothesis that we will consider. And uh, that is, there is no association between uh, the two variables. So that would have to be in context. So between x and y in context. OK. So our null hypothesis is always the same. So that's easy to remember. The alternative hypothesis that we deal with. Now, there's only actually one of those that we look at on this course. Now, what we consider as the alternative hypothesis is there is an association, or there is some association, between x and y, in context, of course. Okay. So we actually only look at one alternative hypothesis. Now, what's that all about? Well, the reason is that when we're talking about um, this table, we are essentially saying, well, are they associated or aren't they associated? Um, so we're comparing it against the idea that we're assuming that they are um, independent. Uh, so, are they independent of one another or aren't they? So, it's kind of one or the other. And the chi-squared distribution, what that looks like, uh, and it looks slightly different depending on what we'll see as the degrees of freedom, um, but it kind of looks like this kind of shape. And the chi-squared statistic, what that does is that's giving you a value down here, so the chi-squared statistic that you calculate, and we need to compare that against a critical value. So the critical value may well be there. So the critical value, such that this uh, is, let's say, 5%, a 5% significance level. That could be 10% significance level. Okay. So is the chi-squared statistic within your critical region, or is it not? OK, so actually we only look and consider that one tail. So is it past the line or is it not past the line? OK, so that is what we are looking at with the chi-squared contingency table test. So the next thing that we need to do is be able to interpret the critical values that are given in the table in the formula booklet. And that's coming up in the next video.